I'm Jason Clear, an associate professor and extension beef cattle specialist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension and the Texas A&M University System. Uh, here today to visit with you a little bit about uh, hurricane recovery and some thoughts and things to think about from a management perspective after the hurricane. Uh, hurricanes bring in flooding from the rain, uh, but also the storm surge. And uh, from a livestock and specifically cattle perspective, you, you have to start off with the basic needs of the cattle and, and water is first. And so to make sure that they've got a good source of fresh water, if it's in a storm surge area, uh, brackish water or salt water is always a concern that you've got to make sure that those cattle have that. And even in areas upland where you did have some flooding, you could have potentially some contaminated water sources. And so make sure the cattle have good fresh water. The next thing in line will certainly be nutrition, feed. Uh, and uh, hay is probably your best bet uh, when feeding cattle in large amounts because it is a pretty safe feed stuff. You don't have to worry about uh, grain overload or, or getting too much grain and acidosis. So if you can get hay to those cattle, some good quality hay, that's your best bet uh, with that. Uh, and so get some hay to them. If the hay is not uh, an option, and oftentimes in those flooded areas, it's hard to get hay out to those cattle, uh, then maybe bring in some uh, bagged feed. Just be careful with any of these feeds that have a lot of grain in them, you can get some grain overload. So you gotta limit the amount there. Um, and then we think about uh, making sure and the immediate is also getting those cattle to some high ground. As uh, Dr. Hairgrove mentioned in another segment, we, we talk about uh, getting them dry because the extra moisture then being submerged in it, we can get some feet problems, skin problems, and just overall health problems associated with it. Um, and then we think about health issues that may arise. Um, and then once the floods go down, then we've got the after aftermath of the forage conditions. You get a lot of debris that comes in with hurricanes. And from the past, we've seen anything from boats to houses float in all the way down to the smallest things like a lot of lures and fishing equipment and different things and debris like that. to so even things as simple as a, uh, a grocery, plastic grocery bag that cattle can consume. And calves are probably a little more inquisitive than cows and they seem to pick up that debris a little worse and then you can get some blockage and, and uh, some death loss associated with that. So try to clear the operation, the place of debris. And then you got to think about hay resources. If you've got hay that's submerged in water, uh, most likely it's going to be a loss because it sucks that water up like a sponge. You get some molding that occurs and uh, with that molding and rotting, you decrease the value of that hay, the palatability of it. But then you also have to think about the with that mold, there's potential of mycotoxins that can form and you can get some sickness from that as well. So. Uh, a lot of different things that you got to think about in that recovery phase, but uh, uh, from from nutrition and health and so on. But but begin to prioritize them from water to actual nutrition, and then start evaluating your resources in the future. And then uh, on top of that, then you got to think about sorting cattle, putting fences back together, and then thinking about the herd health in the future as well, because it's going to be an ongoing recovery process. And, you know, some of the things that'll prop up that are health problems that occurred because of the flooding and the trauma and so on. But uh, some things to think about. Also, remember these cattle are stressed. And so as moving them as, as easy as possible, trying to reduce the stress to help with the recovery is also a priority. So just a few tips to think about as we recover from the, the hurricane and, and prepare for a future one if they do come back.